asked my team coach. He said, we ought to be in, too. I don't care what the computer says. We beat Southwest three times on the road at home at a neutral site. Excuse his passion. Creighton had gone seven years without a conference tournament win. Now they're in the finals against Evansville. Winner goes dancing. There's Altman, second half, Creighton by two. There's Rodney Buford. Jill World, Rodney. Creighton, 13 rebounds Buford had. Next Creighton possession, Buford. Slow your roll, Rodney. For Creighton, his seventh straight point. And then Buford steals this ball for Creighton. You know, his teammate Ben Walker gave him a tongue lashing at halftime, said Buford. He said, you're not playing. You've got to want it. You've got to take over. Creighton takes over. Who's the big dude in the hat and the T-shirt? <laughs> Creighton wins it 70 to 61. Buford had 21 points in the game. Creighton, the MVC champions. He scored nine of his 21 in a crucial minute 44 span of the second half. Ben Walker chipped in with 18 points and 11 rebounds. The Blue Jays have won six in a row and get the Missouri Valley Conference automatic bid to the big dance. They'll make their first appearance since 1991. West Coast Conference Championship, Santa Clara and Gonzaga. First procession for Gonzaga, Matt Santangelo, money. Gonzaga trying to be the first WCC team, top seed team to win the tournament since 92. Santangelo, I hit the threes for the heck of it, just for the smell of it and for the yell of it. He had four threes in the first half. Second half, if he was in his zone, he just did not wake up. Call this dude butter, because he was taking him to school. 34 points, he had eight threes in the game. He's, co he's pumped, his coach is pumped. But on Monday night, Phelan went for his 800th career win in the same place he won number 700. The Wagner College Gym, just off the Highland Boulevard exit of Staten Island Expressway. You go right at Clove Road, right up Howard Avenue, and you go to the site of this year's Northeast Conference Tournament, which Phelan's Mounties could win as a six seed with a win over Central Connecticut. And there's Coach Phelan. He's going to turn 70 later this month. Second half, Mount St. Mary's up by five. Eric Bethel with the steal finds Gregory Harris. But Mount St. Mary's up seven. The Mounties up eight now, and Harris with the alley-oop to Melvin Whitaker. Mount St. Mary's cruises 72-56, and either Coach Phelan's psyched about getting that milestone and berth, or he just found out that there's no toll on the Arizona Bridge when leaving Staten Island. Seven bucks. Phelan becomes only the fourth coach in history to win 800 games, and he hits the milestone by earning his second trip to the NCAA tournament. And the Mounties reach that pinnacle fittingly with defense, holding Central Connecticut to one field goal over the final eight minutes and to 29% shooting for the game. As for the coach, a great personal milestone for him. But the good thing about it was that the championship game overshadowed the 800 win, which is beautiful. The players could focus on the game and not on that 800. It'll be a great experience for them. I've been there lots of times with Division Two and once with Division One, and we know what's ahead of us. You know, a one or two seed probably, but it's exciting. Pick it up, second half, 12 minutes to go, tied at 44 until Corey Osinski puts Sienna up by two. And then Sienna starts to pull away Scott Knapp for three, seven-point game. Then Jim Cantamessa, the catch and the three. More from outside, Knapp drains another of his four threes. Sienna up 10 late. The icing on the cake from Marcus Faison with the big rip. He had 17. Sienna wins. Time to party Caramba. Fiesta forever. 82-67's your final. So with the victory, Sienna becomes the eighth different Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. Illinois defending champ Valparaiso. First quarter, Terrence Price at the buzzer. Oh, I didn't know you'd do it like that, Poppy. Valpo 50% from three-point land. Second quarter, Valpo's big freshman. Lubos Barton, long stroke in the three. He also yanked seven rebounds. Lubos, another three, calling his teammates Lubos. luggage because he was carrying them. He had 24 points, four threes, seven rebounds, shot 80% from three land. Valpo wins it 77 to 50. For in their first encounter, Penn dominated Princeton with a 29 0 first half run, a 40 to 13 second half lead. Penn was dominant until Princeton was. The Tigers outscored the Quakers 37 to 9 to finish the game and win it. Then Princeton lost to Yale whose RPI is smaller than the smallest number smart Yale math kids can find. Then Princeton lost to Harvard. So a win tonight by Penn would put the Quakers in the NCAA tournament. A loss would create an Ivy League tie and force a third game with Princeton. Now the pictures, which don't take as long as that. You'd think you'd get sportsmanship in the Ivy League, but Princeton's Bill Carmody got teed up. Brian Earl missing. Chris Young, the follow. Misses, gets the rebound. Eight lead changes in the first half. 
five seconds to go in the first half. Tied at 26. Michael Jordan going to work. The three. Penn up three. But remember, Penn blew that big lead the first time. Penn center Jeff Owens playing with the broken jaw. Wired shut. Speech class grade going to be difficult. Penn up 14 here. Oh, Roman Chuck misses. Owens follows. Owens took an elbow. Looks like a revolutionary war hero as they patch him up. I have one, but one rebound to give. Jordan misses the jumper, gets his own board. The scoop is good. Pen up. Jordan with 13. Everyone throw your hands in the air and wave them around as though there are no repercussions. First NCAA berth for Penn in four years. Second half, Valpo by seven. Terrence Price, the steal. Valpo. 54-45. Later, Oral Roberts down five. Chad Wilkerson says, we've just cut it to two. Sportscaster, under two minutes to go. Valpo by four. Stovall. Viskovic. Golden Eagles win 73-69. Let's dance. I want my Valpo. 73-69, the final in this one as uh, Valparaiso wins its fifth consecutive mid-continent tournament, the longest conference streak in the nation. Oral Roberts is denied its first conference title ever. To Detroit, the Titans, Butler Bulldogs. That's Julian Van Dyke not observing sportsmanship week. Van Dyke runs over Butler's Andy Hershey. And then Thomas Jackson had also been knocked down by Van Dyke. The refs talk it over, then hit Van Dyke with a personal and a technical. Jackson, four free throws. Butler is suddenly within 13. They work it to Hershey. Knock me down. I knock this down. Bulldogs within 10. Detroit would not be denied. Richard Phillips draws the D. Bakari Alexander. Detroit wins it by the final of 72 to 65. Detroit earns its second straight trip to the NCAA tournament. Kentucky, Arkansas State. May I dance with you? Rashawn Brown. Kareem Abdul Jabbar Jr. Yep. Right on. Hilltoppers up two early second half. Arkansas State up by six. Eric Beatty in the post. Abdul Jabbar, the foul, and he can't believe. Hey, just like Dad. Part of a 19 to 4 run. Chico Fletcher, you've been Chico'd to CJ Pepper the dunk and the, the icing on that cake. Outscored Ohio's 50 to nothing. Eric Thomas from the bench to the floor. Ken up by seven early. Trevor Huffman, another bench player. The pull up for three that touches. Nothing but the bottom of that. Ken up 35 28. Off the inbounds, bench player Rashawn Warren slams it home. Kent's bench outscores Ohio's 26 to seven on the way to a 68. The oh, wait a second. Oh, not like a bad rap. You mean like the WAC conference rap. All right, BYU, TCU, BYU, fat. Ten three-pointers in the first half. Second half, more the same. Michael Vrains, money. Vrains, five threes in the game. BYU goes on to win it 90-74. to Colorado State, Fresno State. Late in the first half, Chris Heron on the alley. Courtney Alexander freaking the oop. Alexander at 16, Fresno up three at the break. Second half, Fresno takes over. After the missed shot. It was Melvin Eli with the emphatic slam. Bulldogs up 54-51. More Fresno, Heron. Straight butter. He had 22 points, eight assists. Fresno wins it 80 to 59. SMU, UTEP, 7.3 seconds left. SMU down one. Ronaldo Bratton is only two points of the game. It rolled around and went in. Mustangs win it 65 64. SMU coach Mike Dement looks demented, very happy. Don Haskins might be walking off into the sunset. Mac Tournament Semi, Bowling Green in Miami of Ohio. Miami up two, just over 10 seconds left. Jason Stewart misses the free throw. You know, Charlie Cole's his team, second in the nation in free throws, but wouldn't you know, Stewart misses them both. So Dan Dockich and Bowling Green have a chance. Anthony Stacey with that chance. Five seconds left, down two, drives, and hits it. We're going to overtime in the extra period. Wally Zerbiak fouled out with a buck 17 to go and a season low 16 points so Damon Frierson had to pick up the slack and he did so and then some Miami now at one up two with 10 seconds left Dave Esterkamp drives and guess who draws the charge Frierson Wally relieved as Miami advances 60 to 56 in overtime so there is someone other than Wally Zerbiak who plays for Miami of Ohio and it's Damon Frierson who scored 13 of his team's final 21 points to lead his team to the tournament final against Kent.